The Norbert Breinin Foundation in Asilo near Venice, Italy, will help young musicians who have the potential to become the great performers of the future. The next Yehudi Menuhin, Claudio Oral, or Jacqueline Dupre. The Norbert Breinin Foundation recognizes that above all, special performers need the rare opportunity of one-on-one -on -one tuition with established international concert artists. Up to 30 students a year will be funded to work closely with musicians of the stature of Robert Cohen, Nabucco Imai, and Norbert Breinin himself. Violinist Norbert Breinin is the founder of the legendary Amadeus String Quartet, which brought classical string playing to the attention of millions. His dream is to establish a music foundation that will work to conserve the fundamental principles of great classical performance. What I am looking for in my students is they must be able to understand the principles of what one is teaching, not necessarily you, you teach, uh, uh, you must make more diminuendo or more crescendo or, or this or that. That is secondary, that is, it may be right or may be wrong, but the principle involved is you to, to think, to learn, to think, in music. No, uh, da, da, da. no diminuendo, please. Fla, pom, 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 like this. do need artistic role models. It's very rare to come into contact with a musician of the level of the importance of a Norbert Breinin. And really it is this that is going to eventually lead with some nurturing and some help young musicians to become something very special themselves and artistically independent they will find themselves in one of the rarest uh, environments that you could possibly imagine. The Renaissance town of Asilo near Venice, Italy, has always attracted musicians and writers from Stravinsky to Schoenberg and Henry James to the poet Robert Browning. It offers an inspiring collegiate atmosphere, complete with the opportunity to use a wealth of existing concert venues and rehearsal spaces. A concert hall in the strict sense, just the audience just goes further and further away from you. And this, you know, traditional theatre where you get the audience around you and you get that intimacy mm. and yet you can get that number of people in here. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's great. I mean, it's always such a pleasure to, to play in a situation like this. And You'll get a happy 20, 24, 26 piece orchestra here. As well as working with students, the Foundation's master musicians will develop and record their own work Students will have access to rehearsals, a chance to learn from the creative process at first hand. This direct contact with master musicians has always been at the heart of the development of all great performers. I suppose what's special to me about Norbert has been through music to start with. As soon as he lifts the bow to put it on the string, you immediately are, are ready for some extraordinary thing to happen, and it always does. The memories I have of playing with him and also the memories of listening to him are always highlights of my life. Okay, that's much better. I think also you need to move your perspective away. You need to look from a much higher point of view so that you can see, as it were, subtle changes and small developments of the music as you move along. 
What the Norbert Bryanin Foundation will offer is to give you the opportunities to find out how to be a truly magnificent artist, how to be an artist that can make real waves in the world, and to support potential artists who could be the next Casals. We'll end up with, a, with an organisation which is really, really unusual. I've certainly never come across anything, anything like it anywhere in the world. There is a terrible pressure to be able to survive in this highly competitive musical world. And so therefore artistic exploration risks being pushed to one side. And what you can gain over the one, two or three years of someone's presence here at the Norbert Bryan Foundation, you can start to open yourself up artistically in front of people. And it's that way you see what interests you, what will work, or perhaps what won't work. Uh, it's honest. It becomes totally honest. I know a lot of things about my job, and I'm, I'm really very anxious to pass it on. I consider this my life's work. The Norbert Bryanin Foundation, helping to create the great musicians of the future.